<laughs> Check out what I got in the mail today. Hi everybody, TechTweeb here. Thanks for tuning in. I've been really excited to get this and I figured why not show you guys while I check it out. I mean, it sorta has to do with tech. It's a piece of clothing as you probably guessed by the title of the video. It's the LTT Store Wayad hoodie designed by Linus and his team over at Linus Tech Tips. Oh look, it comes with stickers. <laughs> Banana for scale. <laughs> That's awesome. Whole bunch of designs in here. <laughs> this nice sticker is made of 69s. <laughs> oh my gosh. God. Grow up, you children. Oh, nice to get some free stickers. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, on to the main event. Let's open this up and take a look. I I'm really excited to see this in person finally. There you can see Linus Tech Tips. And the tag says we get a cell phone pocket, lightweight fleece, five zipper pockets, our articulated sleeves. Alrighty. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, I really like that it's black and orange. That, that's one of the reasons I wanted this. I don't know if you know this about me, but orange is my color. I always choose orange for my accessories when I can. Another thing I like is zippered hoodies. I, I love sweaters with zippers. I'm pretty much always wearing one, especially in the winter. And yeah, it's, uh, it's winter here in Canada and it's freaking cold outside. So big cozy sweaters are basically essential. Another thing that appealed to me about this is that there's lots of little accents on it. Obviously, it's a tech-based garment, so it should have lots of features that a, a tech enthusiasts like us would appreciate. Uh, let's give it a bit of a tour here, and then I'll try it on. It looks like we have a shoulder pocket up here. And look at here, it has this breathable mesh for the pockets, which is really nice. Lots of my camping stuff has this sort of mesh, and it's really lightweight, and stretchable, and strong, and, and it looks good too. And the hood has orange on the inside, as you can see. Oh yeah, look at this. It has this little thumb pocket. I think they said this was for earbud cases or something. I don't know if I'll ever use that. Um, a few of the zippered pockets, they have these reinforced fancy zippers. I, I don't know if they're really necessary or anything, but they look good. It's a, it's a premium hoodie. This is 90 bucks. So I guess this is the sort of fancy extra stuff that we're paying for. Here's another reinforced zipper. Uh, this one's on the arm. I, I think this is a pocket for your spokes. You know, like on your arm, if you're cool and you smoke, that's where your spokes go. And uh, on the arm down here, there's another little pocket. I wonder what you'd use that for. I'm sure Linus and his team who designed this had some specific uses for all these pockets, but I honestly don't know what I'll use them for. Probably like candy and toys and stuff. Okay, I think I got all the pockets. Unless there's another one around the back. Oh, there is. There's one back here. Oh, and it's big. I wonder if my Game Boy will fit it back here. That's pretty big. Yeah, it fits my Game Boy. This is your Game Boy pocket. Man, little TechLouis would have loved to have a sweater with a pocket to hold his Game Boy. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, going around the back, obviously, we have our hex pattern. Uh, a good old hex pattern that feels really techy and futuristic. I think everything is going to be hex patterned in the future. Uh, before we try it on, let's look inside really quick and see the quality. You can see here it's made of 60% cotton, 40% uh, polyester for the body and a cotton polyester spandex blend for the accents. Machine wash cold, low iron, do not bleach, <laughs> do not drop. <laughs> well, because it's a line of sweater. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I don't know what I'm looking for in here, but I guess since I'm reviewing this thing, I should show you the quality of the stitching and stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks just fine to me. I'm not seeing any like loose seams or threads or whatever. I, I, I don't really know clothes stuff. I never really looked inside any of my clothes to be honest, but it seems super high quality to me. Yeah, the occasional thread sticking out, but eh, whatever. It seems really good as far as I can tell. Yeah, it seems good. All right, well, I guess we got to try it on now. We'll see how it fits. Uh, this is just my first impressions part of the video, but after that, I'm going to wear it every day for a week, and then I'll give you my extended review. So let's try it on for the first time here and see how it feels. So this is the sort of sweater I usually wear. I have a bunch of this same sweater in different colors. I have a pretty normal skinny nerd dweeb body, I guess. I I'm five foot ten. I used to be pretty overweight, but I managed to stay thin these last few years, so I wear a medium now. Um, <laughs> I, I have freakishly long arms. That's one weird thing about me. My arms are way longer than they should be for my height, so long sleeve shirts always feel short on the arms. I like to have sleeves that go all the way down around my wrists, so I'm always on the lookout for shirts that have slightly longer sleeves. 
I like that this has a pocket with a, with a zipper here. And the kangaroo pockets on the belly are what I like for my hands. Or zipper up front, which I definitely prefer. I don't like pullover sweaters. And I like having a hood. I like the way it looks. I like having a, something to cover my head when I'm out and I didn't bring a toque. Uh, that's what we call wool caps here in Canada, by the way. Toques. Uh, so let's get this thing on and see how it feels. All right, there we go. Oh, well, right away my thumbs found their way into the wrist covers. Oh, that's cool. Um, they do feel very soft. Uh, they're pretty cozy, I guess. Although I'm noticing right away that the fabric on the inside of the sleeves is pretty scratchy. Uh, I could really feel the seams. There's quite a few seams along the arms here, and I can definitely feel them here against my skin. Uh, I, I have a pretty high tolerance for scratchy fabrics. I actually kind of like them when they feel a bit stiff and textured, so I don't know if this is going to bother me, but I doubt it. Uh, you know, if you're sensitive to stiff, scratchy seams, then this might bother you. This actually feels like the arms are longer than most of my sweaters. Let's see how they do with my freakishly long monkey arms. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. They're actually perfect. <laughs> that's a nice surprise. Uh, let's see how the sweater looks all zipped up. How it fits across the belly. Oh, I like it. It's nice, it's snug, it's not too tight. It's a little bit on the long side, and I like that. I like that it covers half my booty. Just a little bit down there. All right, there it is. Uh, should we try to put some tech toys into the pockets? Well, let's see, let's put this Game Boy into that big pocket on the back. Gotta uh, reach around with both hands. A little bit awkward, but it's not too bad. It works. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. It feels really secure back there. It's really out of the way. It's not going to be obtrusive back there unless you're like sitting in a chair with something huge in that pocket like a Game Boy. Uh, most people probably won't be carrying an original Game Boy around with them in their pocket, so it's probably not going to be an issue. Uh, what about this guy, your spokes pocket? What are you going to put in there? Well, that's definitely a pocket for your mini retro emulation device, right? Like your Mio Mini or your BitBoy. Yeah, that's totally what that's for. Unless you spoke. That's where you put your spokes. You disgusting monster. And it makes your arm look bigger too. Yeah, <laughs> like, like as if you exercise. Yeah, that's my big square BitBoy muscles right there. <laughs> From all that Burger Time exercise. And of course, we have our hand pockets here. And an extra zippered pocket over here for some other gadget. If you don't want to fall out of your hand pocket, you can put it in there. And it'll stay nice and safe. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, I like having a zipper pocket right there. It, it's definitely going to be nice. I can see myself using that a lot. And then there's this pocket, the arm pocket. What on earth would this be for? Headphones or something? I don't know. I, I'm probably not going to use this, but hey, maybe I'll find some perfect use for it. Who knows? One thing that I'm noticing that I don't love is the way the collars flare out like this. I, I guess I prefer slightly more rigid collars with it spread out like this, especially with the orange accents, it's really noticeable. Uh, it sort of reminds me of Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 with his big flared collars. I like having a big collar, I just don't necessarily prefer it when it flaps out wide like this. Um, one thing I like is that on the website you can see how the sweater fits on all different body types. I think they have Linus and James with skinny dweeb bodies like me. You have a big guy like Anthony and Yvonne and Sarah with different shaped bodies. And this sweater looks great on all of them. It's just a great looking sweater no matter what shape your body is. It looks great on everyone. And I, I really love the look on me. I, I think I look great with this on. I'm not really used to looking this cool to be honest. Hey, maybe I'll meet a pretty girl who will come up to me and be like, Hey, is that the Linus Tech Tips whale hoodie I've seen on YouTube? And I'll be like, yeah, it is. And I do YouTube too. I have a channel. And she'll be like, what's wrong with your voice? Like everyone else says. And I'll be like, I'll just give it a chance. It'll grow on you. And then we'll get married and buy a cabin in the woods on a mountain with a gigabit Ethernet connection. And we'll play the latest and greatest PC games until we grow old together and die. All because of this sweater. Well, my first impressions are that I really like it, but there's some parts I'm not too sure about. But I can't really say for sure because I need to live with it for a while, so I'm going to wear it every day for about a week and I'll get back to you with my final thoughts. It'll be a week for me, but it'll only be a few seconds for you. So yeah, here we go. Into the future. Okay, future tech to weep here. Uh, I'm back, it's been over a week. I've worn it every day and I'm ready to give you my full experience. I have some negatives and some positives to say and then I'll let you know my final thoughts and whether I like it or I don't like it overall. And my first negative is that the wrist thumb cover thingies aren't comfortable. I never enjoyed having them on my hands. They kind of pinch between my thumb and my fingers. But in all honesty, it's probably because of my long arms. Like I said, I have super long dweeb arms and the sleeves of my sweater are long enough, but not for the wrist covers. So I'm probably never going to use these again, to be honest. Oh, and speaking of the sleeves, they're really hard to pull off. 
You know, like when you need to check your watch or wash your hands or your mom makes you do the dishes, you pretty much can't pull these up at all with in any sort of comfortable way, which is a big downside. Uh, the fabric itself is okay, but I don't love it. It's not super breathable. It, the, the kind of sweaters I prefer are more of a soft shell type fleece and they're just as warm, but I feel like they breathe better than this. This wan hoodie kind of makes me feel hot and sticky. Just a bit. I have other sweaters that make me feel like this, but if I'm picking a sweater, I, I, I usually prefer ones with slightly cozier fabric. And those are my negatives. I like some things I like. Um, this little pocket here, I actually really like this pocket. I find I rest my thumb in here all the time. Makes me wish there was one on the other side. But check it out, you know the fun KS that I just reviewed on my channel? Well, that fits perfectly fine in this little pocket. It's my fun key S pocket. It's a funky pocket for my fun key. <laughs> I love that it has so many pockets, but I honestly didn't use most of them. Like this weird pocket up here. What on earth is this for? Like an MP3 player or something? Cause it's near your ear. Does anyone actually use MP3 players anymore? I don't know what this is for. And this one too, a pocket on your forearm. For what, candy? Maybe. I can't see why this is useful to be honest. I mean, I like that there is lots of pockets. I guess it's versatile, but some of them, it's hard to see how you'd actually use them. The pockets I do use are great, though, especially this one. This is the phone pocket. This is awesome. I can't show you I'm putting my phone in here because I'm recording on my phone right now, but trust me, the phone fits perfect in here. It doesn't fall out, but it's easy to reach in and grab. I wish all my sweaters had this pocket. Oh, one issue that I had is that it takes a long time to dry. If you get your sleeves wet when you wash your hands or whatever, uh, this happened to be what? Uh, it takes a long time to dry. I wasn't used to waiting that long to put my sweater back on. I, and speaking of drying, it did shrink a bit when I went through the wash. It was a little bit less tight before I washed it. I'm kind of a skinny dweeb, so it's not too bad that my mind a bit tighter, but I followed the instructions and it still shrank. I probably should have got this size up, but just know that it'll probably fit a bit snugger after the first time you wash it. As for my final verdict, well, I love the look of it. It's got some downsides, but they're pretty small. This sweater looks great, in my opinion, but there are quite a few things I changed to make it a perfect garment. And honestly, I wouldn't even be complaining if it wasn't so expensive. I don't buy fancy name brand clothes, so spending $90 on a hoodie might not feel expensive to you, but it's about three times what I'd usually spend on something like this. I, I do feel like it's a bit overpriced at 90 bucks. I feel like 70 bucks would be a more fair price for what you get, but I'm glad I bought it. Cause when you buy a WAN hoodie from LTT store, what you're doing is representing your boy Linus in real life. You're supporting Linus tech tips and you're showing off your nerd cred. Anyone who recognizes this sweater will likely be someone you can nerd out with, which is a bonus to wearing a cool hoodie that looks great. So I hope you found this useful if you're thinking about getting a WAN hoodie from LTTstore.com. Uh, what do you think of it? Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Or a thumbs down if you didn't like it for some reason. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm TechTweep. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, what's up? You want some of this? Yeah, yeah. You better back off, bro. Don't I get blood on my hoodie, pug?